Yes, sir, baby. Let's go, baby. Boys in the coastline of Honolulu. I can get ready to go fly out. And I gotta show y'all one of these coastlines. This coastline is beautiful. Yo, listen, let me jump in here real quick. So don't be afraid to go in the direction God is pointing you to. Don't be afraid to go because it's the journey. It's the journey too. Don't be afraid of the journey because it's the journey too that defines you. Let's get it. Already. Let's get fit for the kingdom. Let's go. Look at the little swimming pools, the little mini swimming holes. I don't know if you can see it. But right down there is like little mini swimming holes inside the rocks. Right there is a little swimming hole right inside the rocks. It's crazy. It's ocean. It's ocean view. This is the trail that I'm on. And this trail leads to the lighthouse. And it's closed. Not supposed to be on this trail. So don't do this. I don't recommend this for anybody. I'm just a little bit more adventurous than some people because I really want to see this lighthouse. I really wanted to see it. So this is probably as close as I could get. I mean, I probably could, you know, work my way around there, but ain't no need to be too dangerous. Wow. I gotta call my sister because she really wanted to see this. Holy Spirit, bro. The Holy Spirit hovering over the water, man. You can just feel it, man. You can hear him. Just listen. Top of the mountain, looking over the ocean, listening to the Holy Spirit, praying for you. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's beautiful. Wow. 
so I'm going to pause right here because I have to explain what happened yesterday. Um, how amazing God is. He's so phenomenal. He's the architecture of time by design. You are exactly where you're supposed to be at that moment, at that time. And so yesterday, let me go back just a little bit because I want to show how God answers prayers and also how he sends you signs um, that he's listening, right? Because I had a friend of mine a few, about a week ago, was asking questions about, you know, how do you know if God's listening? How do you know if God is answering your prayers? And I gave her several scriptures on, you know, God says, if you abide in me, I abide in you. If my words abide in you, you can ask what you will of the Father. Um, also gave her scriptures that, you know, it gives God great pleasure. You know, fear not, little flock, for it gives God great pleasure to give you the keys to the kingdom. God wants to bless you. He wants to give you the keys to the kingdom because it gives him great pleasure to meet the desires of your heart, right? And so we talked about manifestation, right? Being able to manifest things um, through your relationship with God, not religion, but your relationship with God. Um, and so uh, leading up to yesterday, I had a, another conversation about marriage, right? It's talking about marriage, like Mithker, you know, why haven't you got married or what are your thoughts on marriage? You know, and I told her, I said, listen, for 20 years, I've had zero desire to get married, right? Zero. And if I don't have the desire, then that's why I'm not married, right? God gives you the desires of your heart, right? And so, I, I asked God, I was like, God, you know, I do want to be married. I do want to, you know, have a family and establish um, a relationship with someone that leads to, you know, leads to marriage and leads to, you know, happiness um, in, in, the, in the sense of marriage. Because I'm already happy. I'm very happy. I'm very at peace. I'm one. I'm whole. I'm right. I know I'm the right guy, right? I just don't have the desire. So I'm asking God for signs. I'm asking God, how do I have the desire to get married? How do I have, create that appetite of marriage for me? Help me to develop, right? And so um, in that conversation, what you're doing is you're creating space for God to operate, right? And so that's what I'm doing. I'm having a relationship with God and I'm also creating space so God can operate, so God can can go in and help me develop a desire for marriage, right? Because I spent 20 years not wanting it, you know what I mean? And so I'm asking for something I've never wanted, right? And so this is, uh, but you have to create the space so God can work, right? And you have to be listening to the Holy Spirit when he's talking to you. So leading up to yesterday, why yesterday was so amazing um, and how his timing was, I took yesterday very easy. I was not in a rush. I didn't hurry to get to attraction, to attraction, to attraction here in Hawaii. And so I set my course to the lighthouse. Um, I knew I wanted to see the lighthouse and my sister wanted to see the lighthouse. And so as I started going to um, the lighthouse, I noticed a a scenic lookout right so there was like this road and it's by the ocean and the scenic lookout and I was like wow that's amazing that's a beautiful view of the Pacific Ocean and so I got out the truck I, I, I jumped the wall and there's tons of people not tons but a few tourists you know looking and taking pictures because it's a very beautiful photogenic area and so um, so I hung out there for a while I was not in a hurry and here's what I call the setup, because God starts setting you up for the miracle to happen, right? And so I'm taking pictures and I'm taking little videos and I'm taking pictures of other people. People are taking pictures of me. And as I got closer to the water, I'm like, wow, man, this is so beautiful. This is, this is an amazing phenomenon. And in that process, I met a couple from Dallas, Texas. And so... The, the gentleman was like, yeah, I've been here before. He said, yeah, you're going to really enjoy the lighthouse. It's not too far. 
Um, there's another little water hole leading up to it. Um, Hunmana Bay where the cave uh, volcano fell in and it, and it made a really nice uh, area for snorkeling. Um, he said, man, it's all right here, man. Within eight miles, it's all right here. And I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. And so this is the setup. So he asked me, he said, hey, you mind if I take a picture of you? And I was like, yeah, 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 I appreciate that, man. So I gave him my phone and he took a picture of me, right? And then he did something that no one has ever done or asked to do. Right. Usually when you say, hey, take a picture of me, they just take a picture. Right. So he was like, hey, um, you, I'm going to take a video. I'm going to take a video. And I was like, OK, bet. So I act like I was surfing, as you saw in the previous slide. Um, that that was the setup when he when he did that little video. It set up in my mind that people are asking for you to take a picture, but it's OK to give them a video. You know what I'm saying? So I'm taking pictures. And um, so that was the thought process in my mind. So when he gave me his phone and I took pictures of him and his lady, um, I was like, hey, I'm gonna take a video. And that was my first time ever doing it. I don't really, you know, if someone asks you for a picture, you take a picture. You don't go and do extra stuff, right? And so, so I was like, hey, I'm gonna take a video. And so I started taking a video of him and his, his lady. And, um, and that was really cool. And I was like, oh man, you know, I felt like really confident in the video he liked it and so uh so anyway so i'm taking my time getting to the lighthouse right because the encounter that i'm about to have is at the lighthouse but i have to be there at a certain time you know what i'm saying but i don't know this i have no idea why the delay of me getting there was so you know it took me a while you know what i'm saying and so, um, because it was all part of God's design, the miracle, the encounter was at the lighthouse, right? And so, um, so I was like, okay, cool, bet. And I make it to where the lighthouse parking lot is. And so I'm making my way up, up the mountain and it's high, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's about an hour hike to get to the lighthouse and then it's an hour back down, right? So I'm hiking this mountain, I'm hiking this mountain to get to the other side. And so um, in that process, I'm taking videos, I'm praying for everyone, I'm constantly praying. My prayer list got long, and so I'm calling people's name out, talking to God, praying out to God for people. God is giving me inspirational words to say, you know, about the journey, and you know, don't be afraid of direct the direction God is sending you in, as you heard in the other slide. And so, um, so I'm making my way up this, up this mountain, and I meet another couple, right? And so this couple, uh, the lady was uh, very nice. She was like, yeah, I was like, how far? She was like, oh, you don't have much much further to go. Um, but I do want to tell you, you're going to the lighthouse. You can't get to it. You can't touch it, right? And I was like, oh, man, that's a bummer. You know what I mean? Like she said, but there's a path that you could take. It's kind of off the grid um, that will get you close, right? So I was like, hey, I'm good with close. Right, and so uh, so I'm back on the path, I'm back on the trail, um, and so I make it up to where I see this area where the lighthouse was, and I was like, okay, that's the lighthouse over there, okay, and I look over the cliffs, and I see this trail leading back to an area that I already passed, and I was like, mm, that must be the side path that leads to the lighthouse. So I take the little side path. I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that and, and go down the path. And so make my way as close as I can get to the lighthouse. And I'm just standing there in awe, like, wow, man, this is so amazing. You know, the, the view um, was incredible. I, I, I was very breathtaking. The wind, the Holy Spirit was just, just blowing all over the, the water. And you could just, you know, if you just be still and listen, you know, man, you could just really hear and feel God's presence, right? And so I'm there and I'm there for a while. Like, I, I was like, what am I waiting on? I could have been left, right? And um, so I, I, I FaceTime, you know, my daughter because she wanted to see it. I FaceTime my sister, you know, because she wanted to see it. And um, when I got off, when I'm on the fake video with my sister, I saw a couple standing at the lookout looking down at me. 
and I was like, oh, that's dope. They, they, they see me down here. And then I didn't see them no more. And then all of a sudden I saw them at the gate. When I looked back over and I was like, oh, they, they coming. Like, yo, like they about to do what I did. Like, yo, let's go. So I kind of got pumped up because I was like, all right, I'm not the only one that kind of took this, took this path, you know, off the, off the, off the grid, you know what I mean? And so they worked their way down to where I was. And, um, you know, and I was still on the video with my sister. And then he, he went past me to where the gate was that leads to the lighthouse, right? Because the gate is locked. And so him and his girl, you know, they had this like lock mechanism, right? There was a lock that they were going to lock on the gate. And, you know, I love you. I'm locking it in for life, you know. And uh, I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of dope. And so... He came back toward me and I got off the video call with my sister and he came back toward me. He was like, hey, I said, you ain't even, I already know I got you, bro. I'm like, I'm going to take a picture, you know what I mean? And so he wanted to make the moment very special. And so, um, so he grabbed me, he gave me his phone and he was like, hey, do you mind if you take a picture? And I was like, no, I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. He gave me the phone. He, he, him and his girl grabbed the lock and they were putting it on the gate. And I was like, this is a video moment, you know what I mean? Like in my mind, like I didn't ask permission, but but I was in my mind thinking like, this is a video moment. So I switched this, switched the phone to video mode and I started videoing and this is what happened next. That was one amazing encounter. Um, I got a chance to be a part of a marriage proposal and I was asked to take a picture, but God told me to take a video. And the fact that I was looking and searching for, is God hearing my prayers and my abiding in him? And I get a chance to be a part of a proposal is God's way of saying to me, hey, I'm listening to you. Um, I appreciate you creating space so that I can operate. And I was like, wow, man, that's amazing. And me and the guy was just joking, you know, and I was like, well, I guess I'm on deck. <laughs> and uh, I had a really good laugh and, and I just, just felt full of the Holy Spirit. I got emotional because I was like, wow, man, like I literally just had this conversation the day before, and then I was praying about, you know, space and creating space for God to operate. And then all of a sudden I got a chance to be a part of a marriage proposal was like, you know, God was like, man, here, I'm sprinkling this Holy Spirit water on you. I got you. You know, you're a good and faithful servant. And, um, you know, I appreciate you giving me space to operate. And so that's what I want to leave you guys with, you know, um, one, is building a relationship with God is not a religion, all right? That's a relationship, right? And and in doing so, God will give you the desires of your heart, right? So my relationship with God is fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's my father. And since I began that path, since the rebirth in January, I've been to every major city in the United States. Every major city in the United States I've been to. You know what I mean? Like I've explored, I've had dinner, I've stayed in nice hotels and I didn't have to pay for it. God orchestrated it where I could do that. I've traveled all over the U.S. I had a bucket list of places that I wanted to go to, the desires of my heart. I wanted to see Washington, D.C. I wanted to see the monuments. I wanted to see the Martin Luther King statue there. I wanted to see uh, Martha's Vineyard. I wanted to see Alaska. I wanted to see Hawaii. These are desires of your heart. And because of the relationship that I have with God, he answered that. Not only that, God put in me to pray for people. And every time I pray for people and, I, and I'm not selfish, I'm not only pray for myself. Most of the time, I'm always praying for other people, putting other people prayers before me, just like Jesus. Jesus will put other people's 
uh, needs and desires before his own. Right now, Jesus is still working. He's still praying for you. It says in Romans chapter 8, he is still interceding on our behalf, sitting at the right hand of the Father. He's sitting next to God, still working, right? He's still interceding for you. And I'm like, man, how can I be more like Jesus? So, you know, Jesus teaches us to love one another, right? And if we do this, we are his disciples. He called, the, he called us to be disciples, not religious, not Christians, not Muslim, not, you know, all these different type of religions. He called us to be disciples, to have a relationship. He wants sons and daughters. He wants kings and queens. He says, I am the king of kings, which makes you a king, which makes you a queen. He says, I am Lord of lords, which means you're Lord, you're family. He says, and you are joint and joint heirs with the father, which makes us family. He gives you the story of the prodigal son, which is a, an amazing story about the son returning home. The son was thinking in his mind, religion, religion will say, Hey, I'm going to go back and serve my father. The servants at my father's mansion um, live better than this. That's religion. That's religion. That's not a relationship, right? So he returns home. And what does the father do? What does our father do? He forgives us. We go back with these, oh, I've been drinking. Hey, shut up. Uh, I've been fornicating. Hey, shut up. Get the robe. Put the robe around him. Get the ring. Put the ring on his finger. Get the slippers to put him back in right standing. My son is home. Royalty is home. You and I are royalty. This is the image that he's painting for the disciples to let them know you're not just a servant. It sounds so humble and so humility, but that's, that's, that, doesn't, that doesn't do anything for God. Right. God wants you to come to him boldly to the throne and say, Pop, this is what's going on, Dad. This is what's going on, Father. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. If you're a parent, if you're a parent and your son or your daughter comes to your house and says, I'm not worthy to eat at your table. Um, Mom, um, Dad, I'm not worthy. Can, can you put my 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 food in a bowl and put it outside by the tree? How would you feel as a parent if your son or your daughter came to your house and said, I'm not worthy to eat at the table with you. Put my food outside by the tree. What? No, man, we are worthy. Stop feeling like you're not worthy. You're sons and daughters of the most living. You have a citizenship in the kingdom. Stop thinking about what's here. Live for what's above, not for what's below. All right. I know I went on a small rant. I love you guys. I love praying for you. Please let the prayer request continue. Um, and I'm going to do another video about Hawaii and what happened um, because it's amazing. <laughs> That's another amazing story. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, I love you. Um, God bless you. Uh, contagious positivity forever. Um, and just know if you ever need someone to talk to, if you ever need prayer, if you ever need a friend to listen, um, hit me up, man. I'm here. I love praying for people. I love having uh, uh, conversations about God. And I'm here. You know, I want to I want to be your 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 spiritual encourager. I want to be your spiritual motivator, your spiritual influencer. So drop a comment, leave a, leave a message, share with a friend that, that needs to hear from God. Um, yeah. So have a blessed day. I'm out. Aloha from Hawaii. Um, uh, hope you guys are having a, an amazing time. I'm going to go out and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.